Well, guys, it's time for a third party, isn't it? That's what it's looking like. Dem exit is trending on Twitter. Bernie Sanders, unfortunately, looks like he was defeated tonight in the second round of Super Tuesday primaries, and it looks like he's most likely going to concede, hand the baton over to Joe Biden, and we're stuck with a corporate crony capitalist Joe Biden as the Democratic nominee. So a lot of people are very upset and say, no, we're not going to do this again. We are going to exit and we are going to have a third party. That is what we're going to do. Now, there is a right way and a wrong way to do this. And in order to understand the wrong way to do this, we have to take a look back at the two previous attempts at a progressive party. Yes, there were two previous attempts, maybe even more if we go back into the 1800s, but uh, there definitely were two, and unfortunately those two failed. We need to see why they failed so that we can move forward successfully this time. So let's take a look. Now, the first progressive party was formed in 1912 by Teddy Roosevelt, Republican Teddy Roosevelt. So what had happened was Roosevelt had served two terms as president, and he had done a lot of work for the people. He was a great president. He has gone down in history as one of the greatest presidents of all time. He has his you know, face in stone at Mount Rushmore. And Teddy Roosevelt felt like at the time that the only person he could pass the baton to who would be good for the presidency would be Taft and uh, William Howard Taft. And he felt like Taft would be the guy that could carry that baton and continue Roosevelt's work. Well, unfortunately, Taft got into the presidency and he kind of became establishment. He started to really rub elbows with the wealthy and fall into the trap of crony capitalism and, uh, and, and monopolies and doing what's best for corporations and not what was best for the people. And this was a great disappointment to Theodore Roosevelt. So he decided that he was going to challenge Taft for the presidency for a third term. Roosevelt was going to go for it again. This time he was going to bring uh, the government back to the people. He started campaigning on a, on a message that was very, very similar to Bernie Sanders' message and just saying, you know, we've gone too far. The, the powerful have too much power and we need to bring this back to the people. Well, during the primary, the Democratic primary, what had happened was uh, Roosevelt ran in all of the at this, at this point in 19 in the 1900s. Um, and prior to that point, not every state had a primary. So it was only select states around the country. Well, Teddy Roosevelt went and campaigned in those primaries and won nine out of the 13 primaries. There were only 13 primaries at that time, but he won nine out of the 13 for the Republican nomination to be the, the candidate. And Taft, on the other hand, didn't win any of those, but understood that the process, which is very much what we have today, runs on delegates. So the primaries are really just people, the population signaling who would they would who they would like, but it's not actually binding. And Taft understood that really what was binding would be the delegates. And so he didn't actually go and campaign for the primaries. Instead, what he did was he used his power as president to as 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 the head of the establishment at that point to uh, throw his weight around and basically pressure the delegates from all the other states to vote for him. So when it came down to the convention, even though Roosevelt had won the primaries in the, the, the states that had held them, he unfortunately did not win the delegates because Taft was able to throw his establishment weight around and get those delegates to vote for him at the convention. Sounds familiar, right? It gets worse when we go to the second, when we go to the second uh, progressive movement in the 60s. It gets worse, believe it or not. So Roosevelt then realizes that the establishment has gone too far. They're going to nominate Taft, and he decides to break away and create his own party. And he asks people, are you with me? So he did what Bernie Sanders should do. Teddy Roosevelt had the guts to do this. And by the way, Roosevelt was a badass. That guy got shot. Literally, he got shot. Somebody had an assassination attempt on his life the night of the convention, and he went in there with a gunshot, and he still went and gave a speech. I mean, this guy was a true progressive. He was a true badass in every sense of the word, and he was badass enough to say, I've had it with you people. I am not going to fall in line. I'm going to create my own party, and I'm going to take this country back. So he creates the Bull Moose Party, which is the Progressive Party of 1912. And 
breaks away from the Republican Party and runs in his own formed political party. Well, the problem that happened was that um, at the time, Woodrow Wilson was running on the Democratic ticket. Now, back then, the Democrats were, um, and you could argue throughout time, you know, back then, for sure, the Democrats were not a, a good party. And you could argue that they never really became a good party. I'm going to look back and see if there was a glimmer in time when the Democrats were actually good and for the people and truly for what was best for the country. But I'm not sure about that. So uh, that's a different story for a different day. But Woodrow Wilson had the Democratic nomination. Taft was the incumbent president, and he had the Republican nomination. And Roosevelt, the former president of the United States, ran on the Bull Moose, the Progressive Party platform. Well, when it came down to the elections, Woodrow Wilson ended up getting 40-something percent of the vote. And unfortunately, what happened with the progressives and the Republicans is they ended up splitting the ticket. So they each got 20-something percent, which was not enough. And Woodrow Wilson ended up becoming president of the United States. And that was because the progressive ticket was split on the Republican side. However, I will say this. Taft ended up coming in third. So Teddy Roosevelt, with that progressive half of the Republican Party, ended up coming in second in that presidential general election. So he was more popular, and the progressive movement at that time was more popular than the Republican establishment wing of the party. Unfortunately, the Democrats had the majority, and they ended up winning. Now, this is the narrative we still hear today. What happened was, if you combine the tickets with Theodore Roosevelt and William Howard Taft, that combined vote would have been greater than Woodrow Wilson. So this is where you hear the narrative of you're a vote for somebody else is a vote for Trump, right? And back in 1912, in that election, that's what happened. Had Woodrow Wilson, uh, I'm sorry, had, uh, had um, Roosevelt not created that third party ticket and he would have just stayed on the Republican ticket, the Republicans likely would have won that election. So... I'm sure you're kind of getting some of the gist of what happened there and why that party ended up fa failing. Uh, ultimately, the people in the progressive party decided to fold back into the flock. They realized that there was no path forward in a third party splitting the vote with Republicans and that they would just have to fold back in if they ever had a shot at winning as Republicans. Now, what happened with those those progressives was many of them went back to the Republican Party and some of them went over to the Democratic Party. But ultimately, they folded back into the two party system. Now, fast forward, let's go 50 years later, and you've got the uh, the primaries that happened in the 60s. So this was in 1968. There was a uh, the Democratic primary and what happened was uh, Hubert Humphrey, actually, I'm trying to look it up right here so I could just make sure I get all the facts because right now I'm just going off the top of my head. But Humphrey ended up getting the nomination in the 1968 convention. And the guy didn't run in a now, – now, this is the Democratic Party. So the next progressive movement split from the Democrats. And um, in 1968, Hubert Humphrey ended up with the nomination for Democratic – the Democratic nomination for president – without running in a single primary. So it's the same thing that happened with Taft, who was president and didn't run in a single, you know, he ran, but but Roosevelt ended up winning in the popular states and Taft was able to throw his weight around with the other states and get the nomination because he was all establishment. Well, in 1968, it was worse. Hubert Humphrey didn't even run in the primaries. He said, why do I need to run in the primaries? All I got to do is win over the delegates because it's a delegate system. I don't need to win the popular vote. Who cares about the people? So Hubert Humphrey did not even run in the primaries. He ran in the primaries. There were plenty of other candidates. Many of them at that point in 1968 were anti-war candidates. And Hubert Humphrey didn't even run in the primaries. He instead went straight to the delegates, campaigned the delegates, and won the Democratic nomination. This created a riot. This was in the Chicago Convention of 1968. People rioted. They realized that their votes actually didn't matter and that um, it was a sham and that the anti-war candidates would be buried by the establishment, that the establishment would win because of the, the system of delegates, that you don't need to listen to the American people, that you instead have these elite who go to the convention and they end up casting the votes on behalf of the people and they override the entire system. So there was a big riot. People said, this is shit. And they were right. And so 
that um, what happened was the Democratic Party had to make some changes after the riots in 1968. They made changes in the 1972 convention. They said, okay, fine, we'll go with the popular vote. George McGovern, who was an 